on problem 12, you're given the number of joules it takes to change the temperature of a certain number of grams of a substance by a certain number of degrees Celsius. And you're asked to find the specific heat. The specific heat being the number of joules required to raise one gram by one degree Celsius, essentially. We express that as joules per gram degree Celsius. Now, there are a couple of approaches we can take to such a problem. We can find the number of joules per gram by dividing the number, the, the delta Q, which is the energy change expressed in joules, by the mass in grams. That gives us the number of joules per gram required to change the uh, temperature of the substance. Um, but of course, that doesn't take into account how many degrees of temperature change there were. Alternatively, we could do delta Q over delta T, the number of joules per Celsius degree. Okay, if we divide the number of joules of, temp of energy uh, change by the temperature change, we find out how many joules it takes to change for every Celsius degree, but this tells us nothing about how the mass works into that, okay? If we have a lot of mass, we'll have a lot of joules per Celsius degree. If we have only little mass, we won't have many joules per Celsius degree. Just like up here, if we have a lot of temperature change, we'll have a lot of joules per gram. A little temperature change, just a little joules per gram. We want something that doesn't depend on the uh, temperature change or the mass. We want some property of the substance. And the way to get that is to simply say, well, okay, let's take delta Q and divide it by the mass times delta T, which gives us the number of joules per gram Celsius degree. Number of joules per gram and per Celsius degree energy to raise one gram by one Celsius degree. The joules will be the energy required to raise one gram by one Celsius degree.